Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding, but your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when it, when night falls. But last time it- This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted, before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. <laughs> My memory is it's full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like it's like it's like a half-forgotten dream. It definitely sounds batshit crazy, but after the I'm delayed. After the stuff they've experienced in Bright Falls, Mr. Wake, I feel like they're a little bit Alan. more inclined to believe him. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? Because you need to help. I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. It's almost kind of sad because you can see how Alan is trying so hard to just explain the complicated nature of the dark place and the situation it's that insane. he's been in. And there's so much of it. Yes. And I think that it's it's really interesting because you can see the disappointment in him when he knows what it sounds like and that that type of crazy plays into the dark place, right? They want him to not be believed. They want him to be seen as a crazy person so that he doesn't, you know, find a, a way to fix all of this and I think that it's also obviously very stressful for him but uh, they do a really good job of just kind of conveying the complexity of emotions that poor Alan has to go through because he's trying to recant everything he's trying to explain things in a very rational way but he's also trying to figure out the truth in it and he can't always discern what that is and like he said he's got holes in his memories and stuff because the dark place as we know plays with time and stuff like that so I just it's so well done you know the the, the acting and everything you have Casey over here who's just kind of like smirking and laughing at him um, but Saga is taking him seriously which I appreciate because just like she said they've seen the bat shit crazy in the last 24 hours they've seen the, the darkness taking over the people the taken right there's those things you can't write off and they match a little bit with Alan's 
story and then they've been finding the pages that have been coming true and stuff so we just love this game i love this game you guys hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is rickety games i'm sydney and today we are back with alan wake 2 this is the final draft we are here in the office we've just experienced alan's uh, moments in the dark place uh, on the talk show with Mr. Door. We went through Alice's moment. We got a little bit of changes. We're, like I said, they've been kind of peppering little things throughout the game so far, so it's been very interesting that way. I did mention that we would go to We Sing in this. I forgot that we go back and forth. Well, not the mechanic of it, but I forgot that we immediately go back to Saga for this, and then we can go back to Alan if we want to, which we absolutely will. I said we do We Sing, we gonna do We Sing again. If there's an opportunity to experience the musical, why are we not doing that? ASAP. So let's get through this conversation with Alan. Let's see if there's any kind of new tidbits we can gleam. Um, I have a feeling that a lot of this is probably going to stay the same because this is the way that the story goes. Uh, and then we will get to our moment, you know. The stage, the old gods. We have to pay our tribute to them uh, because they're amazing. So let's do this. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy yes. bunch in the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? Casey. Cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. I love that Casey's so condescending. But, and I, and I get it, I get it. But like, he is cooperating. He's not not telling you answers, right? If he was not cooperating, right, I would get a little bit more of the attitude, but he is explaining it. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for scratch. I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan. If I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yes. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? I don't think he's hiding anything. I think, if anything, he's just super fucking confused. <laughs> uh, is there anything in the office that we can play with? I don't think so. And I believe we already got the deer head before we... Yeah, we got you. Okay. Jumping into Alan. It's getting that brain of yours, sir. The cult and the clicker. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter. The next chapter. The next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. He also helped write them. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Row, row. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Definitely. <laughs> Look at all our peeps. Already? Okay, Mr. Wig, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our help. job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. We're here to help. We're on the same side, buddy. We're here. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the Cult of the Tree. 
A cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. Dun dun dun. We get to go to Watery. This is definitely not new. This is obviously a part of this chapter where it tells us that we need to go back home. Well, home that Saga doesn't know is home. And is that everything that we can do with him? Casey's just like hanging out here. He's like, I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> Or do I need to do the case board? Case board. Oh, I have a lot of case board stuff. <laughs> Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. And Scratch and everybody. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. Alrighty, so I've gone through and done all of the extra little things here. I don't think there's really a need to go through everything because we did this the first time around. Obviously the story, the cult of the tree, we're just learning more. Or rather, Saga is learning more of it since we already know. So let's just get back out it's here. It's all on the page. The clicker. The cult. Okay. I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Woo. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. <laughs> Got it. His favorite no, thing. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. Hey, that flannel's gotten us through some crazy American nightmares, all right? Just chill. <laughs> Poor Alan. He's like, no, I want to help. And I'm sure Casey loves babysitting duty. Either way, we're going to leave them to that, and we will get to that later because we have to experience the most amazing... We got to get to that too. Oh, But we have to experience this. Get to what we came here for. You guys ready to dance? I hope you know the moves. Able to escape. Poor the dark Alan. presence had stopped me. So close and so far. All right, we got to do the drafts, I believe, right? And figure out I'd our way. I'd seen the title page of another manuscript. Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar, important. I had to find it. Yes, sir. And the we blackboard will. was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning. Well, where am I? Are we still in the studio? <laughs> All right, so there's nothing on any of the boards and anything. That's interesting. Alrighty, typey typey it is. I new would draft. write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using another murder site. Scratch was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out, but still in danger. We can't have that. With the shotgun and everything. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Our guest tonight is Alan Wick. Here we this are. Time wanted to do something I was back, and I hadn't forgotten. I knew how this worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. He's like, I got my memory. In the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. We just do what we always do. We'll chat, 
but instead of talking, we'll sing it. <laughs> we'll sing it. Oh, this is gonna be so good. All right, there's nothing in this room, so let's just sing again, shall we? This is so trippy. TV into a TV. I'll be less flabbergasted this time. But what just as hell? excited. From what I gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up fury. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. Yes, I'll get up there. Look at Dory, he's just enjoying this. He's like, oh, I can fuck with Alan. Enjoy the dickatry. Look at these men. Look at the gods. Yes, sir, I will take that. Okay, I'll just go. Yes, I'll enter through the door, thank you. I didn't even see what it was, honestly. <laughs> Hi, me, with the clicker. Come on in the list and lost words You give me a sin of the fire you're bearing You're the darkness, your life I mean, this is incredible. Look at the screens and the lights. I mean, to have done this is insane. I hope they do some sort of behind the scenes of like how they made this. Because this just needs to be everything. They said control would take control, right? And then they one-upped it. It's just incredible. Oh. The darkness said, hold my fear. You wanna take control? Take the Herald of Darkness. I doubt anything changes in here. That he closes on me. Would you want the stories early on? My dreams would light up my imagination. And you had nightmares night and day Yeah, but with the clicker I chased those frights away Ooh, you So true So here is the clue of how to remember Visions, they come true oh, They're all hanging out here Also, the fact that door can take away my weapons and everything Is pretty bad Hi guys can I do anything with you? What's the sand floor? Oh! I can't turn on my headphones. So good. What is this thing? Act scared. <laughs> I didn't see that before. I can't spin in my headphones. Alex Casey enjoying the dance. Also, seeing them at the Game Awards dance all up on stage. That lives rent free in my head forever. I don't want this to end. I took my sweet ass time last time. <laughs> yes, sir. I love that they tell you where to go, too. I mean, look at this. This is incredible. To be able to put the screen in here alone, to have live action, the lighting. I mean, it's fucking incredible. Here they are, hanging out on all the screens. It's literally the volume. This is what they're doing in um, the industry now. Uh, instead of green screen, you can have these gigantic, basically, LED screens and project them in the background, and then you can have anything you want. But more than that, you can tweak lighting and design and everything on the screen because it's digital. It's absolutely incredible. 
so it's really cool to actually see a different use for it, which is something like this. So good. Okay, we'll go down. Honestly, I, I want to learn how they play the guitar on this. I want the riff. It's me! Oh, I do not want this to end. We got three rounds though. It's worth it. Get a little bit more of the interview each time. I don't think anything changes in this. I don't need anything to change because it's fucking Ward perfect. I look like. Look at me up there. Also, think about this. How fucked it is that you have Mr. Door giving us the lamp uh, to, to use and later the flashlight and the gun. It just tells you how fearless Mr. I Door will. is, right? Please. Because he gives. I don't know, Lord. I will. Come on. I will, sir. I was just remarking upon the power that you have and the fearlessness that you have uh, in giving me the items that I could use to fight your minions. So I was like, I don't give a fuck. And all your stories of crime and chilling thrillers of hard-boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much. I had to get away. <laughs> He's so annoyed. You're behind me too. <laughs> All right, all right. How's everybody's, uh, well, you're not eating anything, but you know. Also, to be able to extend the song with all the riffs and just making it as long as the player needs it to be, absolutely. I mean, I can't even imagine the code for that. I'm on the catwalk of jamming. Look at me hanging out. The fact that Dora's letting us fuck with it, all this stuff. Dark Place is like, oh, were you getting bored? Let me fix that for you. Drowning in the press and everything. Thank you. Thank you, Odin. I will. Flashlight. You write, don't write. Alex Casey's murder. <laughs> the little X for eyes. Oh, that's funny. It's pretty well recreated. It's a cold day in hell. Cold case, case. Love your guitar skills, sir. Sirs, the gods, we pay tribute. All right, <laughs> the getaway club. I love these. Oh, there is more to it than meets the eye. I never meant That's for it to ruin my life that way. Would you say you lived a jaded lie? Dark shades could never save the day. So sad, but true. Oh, I just want this song. I don't even care. They could give it to me in 30 minutes long and I would still love it. It's amazing. These all look the same. <laughs> you die here. So interesting. What did you say? Casey. And this segment is really interesting too because Ellen, the the using the lights to guide you and everything is pretty brilliant. I love it. All right, all right. I love these men. They're literally fucking brilliant. All right, let's go. Getaway club for the win. 
Show me the way. Can we get rid of you? <laughs> The fact that he tells you where to go is pretty funny. Honestly, it's pretty telling of Mr. Door anyway, because Alan is at the whim, basically, of Mr. Door since he can't get out. But by taking back the power, we will try to join the getaway club. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. I'll grab you this. Ooh. Find Alice. We're trying. We can fix the car now, right? Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't ruin my jams. <laughs> Wait. Is this new? Or did I not find this last time? No, that's not new. I thought for a second we were gonna get like a tape, like a secret tape within the tape. But no, we gotta go to the bridge. We gotta re-experience Bright Falls. How we got here. Even with the damn trucks. <laughs> He could write a new story like Tom Zane before him And maybe they'd be happy once again Just one shot, one more chance for him to save their marriage Away from the city, a romantic getaway They take it away! Oh. With the flowers and the wine. Oh, we had such hope. This is one of my favorite parts of the song when they bring back the jams. <laughs> okay, I'll go, I'll go. I just want to stay here forever. We've almost made it to the office. It's like reconstructing itself almost because we know by the end we do, we get to like the office, or at least the office set, right? So it's kind of interesting to see that it's almost like being built, like Alan's creating the sanctuary as we go. Take the flare gun, thank you. Some more of it. This is the best part of the song. Still he's a torch bearer, and it couldn't be much clearer. A war needs its warrior, true and right. The darkness within him, hell has stench. I see the drowning, what a savior from the darkness. It's literally my favorite part of the song. It's got the jams. Alright, you bitches ready to dance?
think he's happened to me last time I was here. Constantly, Alan. Yeah, we got batteries. Yeah, I see. Oh, the breakdown of the song is fucking brilliant. Yeah. Well, I gotta get him. Oh. Excuse you. Yeah, see, he was an ambush here. Oh no, not my light. skills so much oh Ooh, shit I didn't oh. see you there we have so much flare gun ammo to see these guys at concert. They don't tend to come to the US as much, I don't think. But I hope they do. Isn't this a big one? I mean, it must be so much fun for them to just jam out and to make this like air, like so long, right? Because they have to play with it. There's so many of you. Bye. It's not that kind. Anything else around here? Safe. Look at this man. Jamming. Jamming. 
I love that it goes muted when I'm in the light. Doesn't it go muted again because we see a radio? We're getting walls. Look at us. We're constructing our office. Our safety. We got our, our clickety clackety. I love this. Ellen's like, please build me walls so I don't have to hear this constantly. <laughs> He's like, please. Not like this. Do we have the jazz section? He's like, am I out? Am I safe? Nope. Never. It's so quiet compared to the jams that we I were didn't having. See that coming. <laughs> Nobody did. Nobody, Alan. Not a single person saw that coming. Uh, but we're all grateful we did. It's also not over, Alan. Don't worry. Don't worry. A vision. Oh yeah, that's right. Echo me up. Give me the jazz. He's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dark place, am I trapped in here? Is this real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript that held a key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. Echo seems to seek out. This feels very Twin Peaks again again. with the jazz. Until I figure it out to bring this song to its end. Love these dancers. Is there any way out to bring this song to his end? Helen's like, please, please make it end. <laughs> we found our desk again. We lost the walls, but we got the board. What is this? This table. Is that where the TV is supposed to go? Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> oh, I don't want it to end. You know, it's super screwed up because Dor is applauding you, right? And he's giving you the tools to bring the song to the end, right? So, like, that just, again, it just shows you how much power this man has. Right, the fact that he's giving you the board, he's giving you your typewriter, like, it's just all his way of, of dicking with Alan and showing him how powerless he is here. But just to think about it all is crazy. I'm done for the night. I'm good. Tapping out. <laughs> it wasn't a jam. Oh. That could be the whole game, and I wouldn't mind at all. I got my shotgun back. Where was that in the Wee Sing? Mr. Dora's like, you can have some things, but not and all I your things. I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. <laughs> you should know that anything you do, Alan, is, 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 it's going to be strange. Oh, we get to listen to Auntie's sweet tunes. This is me every day at work and out and about just humming this song being like mm, champion of flight mm, champion of flight catchy right herald, herald of, of darkness, darkness. 
I love this man. I don't want to shoot you. I just want to see you closer because you have such a beautiful face and amazing hair. Okay. All right. Sadly. I love this man. I don't understand half the things he says. But he's amazing. Okay. I don't think there's anything else around here. I just want to check, though. Just in case. Alrighty, I did the once around. There is nada around here. Of darkness. Woo! I'm gonna go out the front doors. Ooh, end of part. So sad that that is over, but literally it is one of the greatest things ever. To experience that again and again and again. Every time. Uh, obviously nothing changed in that, and it's probably a bit of a short part, but we just gotta leave that where it is, because this, this is everything you need and like I said it doesn't need to change I don't need it to change it's literally a fucking perfect part and the fact that they had the balls to well let me say the fact that Sam Lake had the balls to want to do this segment and fought for it to make sure that it stayed in he knows his fans he knows that we all this this I expect nothing less I don't expect it but to experience it I'm like yes Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think anybody was expecting like a literal full-blown musical, but the fact that they did, just it makes sense, and it's so perfect. So perfect. And, um, yeah. I mean, this man is just invincible at this point, because holy shit. And we have to give it up, absolutely, for the old gods of Asgard, the poets of the fall. Holy shit, are they musically talented they have that perfect glam rock like that old classic they've got the, 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 the amazing lead guitar the shredding guitar but the verses the way that it sounds I mean it just comes together so well and that's talent enough to make just amazing songs lyrically musically right that's already a feat but for them to be able to do something like this where they add extra riffs to it extra sounds to it just to let the player enjoy what they want to at their own pace is unbelievable we experienced it a little bit in ellen wake one with the old gods concert and that was amazing and then the ashtray maze in control right and that was where we really started to see like the extension of the song extension of the music and it was really incredible and this just the levels that they're taking it to. I don't know how they top this. I don't know if they need to, but it's unbelievable. Like the talent behind these games, the talent behind the music, Ilka Vili, his face and his body uh, doing two different things. Matthew Peretta singing um, and you know, conveying the story, the emotions of Alan Wake, but also the uh, confusion that he's going through. Um, and then Mr. Door at the heart of it all, just controlling it, absolutely terrorizing Alan, just showing him who's boss in this place. It's fantastic. Anyways, I will leave this episode here. It's probably a little bit short, but I think that We Sing just deserves its own space. We just, you have to. We salute the old gods. I would sacrifice any number of things for them because they are, they're the old gods. I hope you guys enjoyed this wonderful episode again. Just as good as it was before. There's literally, like, I can't even... There, There is no vocabulary to be able to describe the brilliance that this is. And any words and adjectives that I can come with fail uh, to, to express how miraculously fantastic this whole segment is. Thank you, Sam Lake, and the entire Remedy team for allowing us this absolute gem. And like many of you, I saved before it so we could experience it over and over and over again. I have it on my soundtrack. I'm going to go listen to it for the rest of the day. Everyone at my work thinks I'm crazy because I'm singing this 13-minute musical song that is a rock opera, amazing, just everything. Well, not opera, but it's, it's everything. I don't need, it's just, just yes. Yes.
If you guys are looking for the next episode, God, I'm so sad that this one's over. If you guys are looking for the next episode of Alan Wake 2, the final draft, it will be right over here. We will continue with either Alan or Saga, I don't know. Uh, we'll decide when we get there, as we do. Uh, we'll obviously get to all of it. Sing, sing your days away, guys. Enjoy the dark place. Enjoy, enjoy the old gods.